Elastic Search Solution was done for a library procurement system of a leading bookstore. Client used to get the book's feed from multiple publisher. These feeds contained book information like name, ISBN number, author etc. The received feeds were either JSON XML CSV Excel formats following Unix or MARC standards. Weekend feed is a full feed listing 15, 16 million records from each publisher. Weekday feed were only incremental. Requirement was to do a text data search on the book's data before placing an order. Out of all the data, business wanted to restrict the search on selective list of columns only. Their ESA's architecture or DBMS could not handle the volume and quick text search around it. Scalability was also an issue. As a part of architecture solution we proposed usage of HBase and Elasticsearch, as HBase implementation dictates costs, consistency, availability and performance. Basically it is cost-effective processing system that could handle any data volume, with access times under 50 milliseconds, with no downtime and no data loss. Write performance, read performance, random reads, sequential scans, aggregates and consistency. Elasticsearch was opted because of its distributive real-time search and high availability. With Elasticsearch is that it is easy to scale a big number of queries and documents. Elasticsearch has a great mechanism for pushing out updates between servers. It also means that since it is better at handling constant updates from syncs, it can also handle lots of writes and stay up. Although there is one more search engine called Solver, both Elasticsearch and Solver are from Lucene family. However, Solver is appropriate only if you reworking on a small app that needs to search less than a million documents and the database ENT updated more than once every 15 minutes. As a solution feed files were migrated in HDFS landing directory. A map only task was scheduled to populate records in HBase. Reconciliation process took care of reporting load failure. It basically checked that number of rows in HDFS are same as in an HBase. On weekend, truncate loads are scheduled and incremental load were scheduled during weekdays. Prerequisites Create a folder HBase conf on HDFS and put source XML files in it. Now create a HBase table by name HBase conf with a single column family O. Create an Elasticsearch index by name index using Elasticsearch head UI. Now run a map only task to parse the XML source files and store them in HBase table HBaseConf. Map task is running.
map task has finished. You can note that there was no reduce invoked. We will do a reconciliation of input and output records at map reduce level, and also verify the number of records in each base table. Number of records at all the places are the same. Now we will see a sample record from each base table. Note that there are no records in Elastic Search as of now. Now we will run a map reduce task to index records from HBase to Elasticsearch. Map Reduce task has finished. Here also we will do a quick check of record count at different levels. Now we can see that all of the records from HBase are loaded to Elasticsearch. Thank you for watching this demo.